I'm Levi Hartsock and I'm a senior here at the Frostburg Mechanical Collaborative Engineering Program and this year I'm in a senior capstone design project where we're taking um, a modern problem that your consumer or everyday person might experience and then we're solving it through the integration of parts that we're actually printing on our 3D printer here. We decided to tow our project or our invention, the window wizard. And what it does is it will detect a change in the weather, whether it starts raining or it gets too hot or too cold or the wind gets too blustery. The window can actually detect those changes and then it will shut itself. And so how it does that is there's multiple sensors and these sensors are all on a control panel that will be either on the outside of your window or on your roof. And so what happens is it will start raining and your sensor in that control panel will get wet and it will tell the motors, hey, it's raining, you need to turn on. So the motors will turn on and they're connected to a piece of threaded rod. The threaded rod is in turn connected to a nut of the same thread pattern, which is mounted on a box on top of your window slider. So as the thread starts turning, the nut uh, promptly will move down the rod, pushing the window with it and closing it until it reaches the bottom and presses a switch, which interrupts your circuit and tells the motors it's time to shut off because the windows are closed. So to start off, the first thing we have to do is we actually have to choose a CAD program. Um, there's various ones, SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, Creo, uh, but the one we're using is actually Inventor 2017. And what it allows us to do is model various components, fit them to our product, whatever it may be, and then actually send them to the 3D printer um, via a certain type of file that the printer can read. And then you program it, set it, and it'll print it out, come back the next day or a couple hours later, and your parts there are ready to go. My name is Mahdi Noruzi. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering uh, at Frostburg State University. 3D printing technology is widely used in industry for proof of concept in early design stage of a product. In the last year of uh, engineering program at FSU, students have to complete the project to demonstrate their ability to apply the knowledge they have gained at, here at FSU into practice. They start with a problem that they have found in the market and try to design a product to resolve that problem. Similar to industry, they use 3D printing technology for proof of concept for their design. This is a great experience for students for their first job in the market. For me personally, I've really enjoyed the experience. You know, we kind of hear of 3D printers and you think, well, it's just like a sci-fi thing. You know, it's relatively emerging technology, but we have them right here at Frostburg and we get to use them every day. And it's awesome because we use those CAD programs, we make the part and then we give it to the printer and come back a couple hours later and there's the part, exactly what we designed, exactly what we wanted, ready to go. We just take it off and we put it in our system. Um, for the window wizard, we've made several of these components on the 3D printer. Um, a couple of which I have right here. This one is just a lower rod holder. So this will sit back in your window and it keeps the rod from moving out of place and keeps everything nice in line. Uh, second, and one of the most important features of our window is this manually unlocking mechanism. So what it does is it actually slides back and forth. So at this position, your rod would be disengaged and you could slide the window up and down freely. As you move the rod or move the slider out, it will engage with the rod. So as the rod spins, your slider moves up or down depending on the direction. Um, this entire piece was 3D printed in three separate sections. We have two halves that we were able to snap the middle section into and actually put a nut that we bought from the factory. Uh, the nut had certain specifications. We mirrored those specifications and the engagement mechanism and it printed and they matched perfectly. So the printer has the capabilities to really tight tolerances to make whatever you need. Uh, so that's how our invention, the window wizard works.